Veterans from the Parachute Regiment had been in Aldershot to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the Falklands conflict. Paras past and present were honoured with a special military service, a fly-past and a march through the town. Victoria Smith was there. A time to remember those who fought and those who fell. 255 forces personnel died as a result of the conflict. This drumhead service was for the paras and airborne troops who sacrificed their lives. 40 servicemen were killed in the Falklands conflict. 18 of them lie here in Aldershot's military cemetery. But all those who fought for and won the island's liberation are being remembered and honoured. The service was attended by hundreds of comrades, friends and family members. Rita Hedeker lost her son, who was just 22. I often think, what would he be doing now, 30 years on? But um, that's not to be. But undoubtedly a hero. Yes, absolutely. A bit of a rogue, but a hero. But a lovable rogue, I have to say. <laughs> Others who served in the Falklands say they'll never forget. I think the political wranglings have been going on for quite some time. They're not going to go away uh, quickly. Um, but I'm sure there's a fair few people in this cemetery this morning quite happily sign up and go back again. After the service, hundreds more thronged the streets to see the veterans in serving paras march by. The man who commanded three para during the conflict says they did their duty with pride. When we went to war in 1982 to secure the democratic future of the um, very then relatively small population of the Falkland Islanders. We went to war for the Falkland Islanders, not for the Falkland Islands. And uh, that remains the case today. And the people of Aldershot, the Paris spiritual home, gave the servicemen a hero's welcome. They want to salute the 255 men who fell, to salute their families who are here today, and to salute those who returned, many of whom will have uh, injuries, whether physical uh, or mental. A fly-past of aircraft from the Falklands era added to the occasion and was a fitting salute to those who served then and who continue to serve now. Victoria Smith, Forces News, Aldershot.